NASCAR's West Coast Swing continues in Phoenix, Arizona this Sunday, March 13th at 3.30 p.m. Eastern with the Rough Mortgage 500. Phoenix Raceway is a one-mile flat track and is one of only three one-mile-long tracks on the circuit. New Hampshire is its closest comparable, with Richmond offering a very similar type of racing. The big boys started racing here way back in 1988, and they have run two races a year since the beginning of 2005. The lowest starting position of any winner over those 34 races since 2005 is 22nd, with just four starting the race 16th or worse over that time period. The pole sitter has won two of the last three races here in Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott, and lead changes should be a plenty this weekend as we've seen no less than 18 over the last four here in Phoenix. Cautions, just like the previous two races, have normally been kept to a minimum. Here is about an average of eight over the last 10 races, but if the last two weeks have taught us anything, it's to expect this number to rise. In not so surprising fashion, Kyle Larson opens up as a pretty heavy favorite once again, and thus I'll probably be avoiding highlighting him in any future videos. So today to lead off, I'm going with Martin Truex Jr. at plus 750. We were really close to partying with Marty in Vegas as he and Kyle Busch were battling back and forth over the last 10 or so laps, ultimately succumbing to a late caution and thus ruining a shot at winning with Alex Bowman eventually being the champion in Las Vegas. Truex won this race in the spring last year though, he finished second during the playoffs here, and he led over 60 laps in both of those races. When you look at his history over the last 5 years or 10 races, he has the 3rd best average finish at this track at just around 8th, and he's failed to top 10 just once in the last 6 races. Next on the list is one of my personal favorite drivers to root for, and that's Willie B, William Byron. Byron placed 5th in Las Vegas after competing near the top all day, and actually completed his first race of the 2022 season. That's not indicative of his driving, however, as even while missing close to 200 laps over those first two races, he ranks 8th in total fastest laps this season. At Phoenix throughout his career, he's been okay, but he has top 10 in three of the last four Cup Series races, and he won here and placed 4th in 2017 in the Xfinity Series. Last on the list is an oldie but a goodie, Kevin Harvick at 21-1. In terms of consistency, nobody's been better. Harvick has top 10 in 17 consecutive races and in 18 of the last 20 trips here. He's won nine different times at Phoenix Raceway with the last coming in spring of 2018. And he has two of the wins that came from somebody starting outside the top 15. Harvick has finished seventh and 12th in each of the last two races this season. And maybe just like the Phoenix, he can rise from the ashes and take home his first victory since way back in September of 2020 at Bristol. If you like any of these numbers or you want to shop for more NASCAR odds for the Rough Mortgage 500 or whatever other crazy name this race has, click the link in the description for FanDuel Sportsbook where you can receive your first bet risk-free up to $1,000. And don't forget to catch my show later in the week when I reveal my entire betting card for this weekend's race in Phoenix.